Witches, I'm AD and welcome back to my channel. I am starting off the day with a fresh face and I figured I would have a conversation with you guys about my personal shadow work that I've been doing during this quarantine and also my journey to self-love and pushing out all of the toxic energies around me and my own toxic energies that I've noticed more in myself because I've had to really face myself. So I have a lot of videos to do today so I'm going to do my makeup while I'm having this conversation with you guys as a sort of get ready with me and let me know in the comments below if you guys have been noticing things about yourself and you've been working on yourselves as well um, through this quarantine. Um, so I'm going to start off with my glycolic acid facial toner. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm actually switching it out but um, this is what I have for now. Um, but it has been a crazy journey through a ton of stuff. Oh, I have to dilute this with water. So I have my water here. I'm just gonna dilute it a little bit. Yeah, that was graceful. <laughs> it's okay. My journey in this quarantine, like I've really wanted to be able to be alone, have my own space, and just work through all the stuff that I have been going through. And <laughs> I say that, but I also have been resisting a lot of what I need to be doing for myself and with myself. And it's it's kind of annoying. I have to like go through all of this like all over again. And I've noticed in like TV shows where like characters will um, follow the same patterns over and over and over again and won't learn their lessons or they just don't think about what they're doing and just will sabotage themselves or just just do so much where they should really just think about what they're doing. Um, now it is the Retinol Correction Eye Cream by Rock. Um, and it's one of those things where I see these characters and I'm just like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Like you could have lived your life in such a different way and it would have been amazing. But now, during quarantine, I'm seeing these things in myself and I'm saying, wow, I am following all these terrible patterns because of the stuff that I went through. Um, you know, I went through childhood trauma and like these other things and I'm just following the same patterns over and over again because of my fears and just things that I don't want to face in myself and I'm saying, for some reason, why are things not changing? And um, they're not changing because <laughs> I'm not allowing them to. Because I'm just doing the same things over and over and over again and expecting a different result. Um, I mean, that's the definition of insanity. So through this, really examining my um, patterns and the things that I've been doing, I've been a little resistant. Um, that was the Clearly Brighter from Garnier. So I've been really having to face myself. And I, a lot of the times like I get really mad because I'm just like, why do I have to do this again? I just go through these motions where I want things to change, but I'm not really allowing them to because I'm just like keeping myself stuck. So I'm a Taurus and I always want things to be stable. I want my space and I want my stability. I want my things. I'm like a little materialistic because of that. Um, I need my sanctuary. Like I created my entire space for myself, for my videos and to feel like my home during this quarantine. And it's just, it's funny because I have all this stuff and like I have my space, but I've kind of like, section myself off from the world during this quarantine and I've really just been by myself a lot of the times not really interacting with people that much um, and through that I'm going through a lip scrub right now just to scrub my lips this is by Bite Beauty lip scrub it's really great so I'm doing these things where, you know, I'm overcompensating, I need things around me all the time, um, I need to be, when I'm, when I care about people, I like overindulge and give them the world, 
but like I don't receive that in return so that like really upsets me and things like that like my fear of abandonment and how like I tend to break things off before they're necessary so I don't get broken up with like that sort of thing um it's a lot it's it's taxing too like giving my all in situations and not really having that reward from other people or from what I feel like I should get or I deserve um that's been really like energetically just toxic and I've realized that I've needed to stop doing that so through the shadow work I've been writing down the things that the things about myself that aren't necessarily that I don't necessarily like about myself or the things that I do and the things about myself that aren't necessarily the healthiest toward my uh, mental health, toward my spiritual health or just my health in general and really finding those moments and saying, okay, I'm gonna work towards not doing that anymore because it's unacceptable. Um, it just can't happen anymore. So now I'm gonna work with my Nomad Berlin Underground um, palette. Um, and for some reason my camera is not focusing on me. There you go. Okay, so <sighs> Through that I've been um, Kind of meditating on letting go of what I can't control because I'm a bit of a control freak Like I kind of want things to happen the way I want them to happen And as a witch it's kind of one of those things where like I do a spell I want it to happen the way I want it to um, I really haven't been doing that much spell work recently just because I want to be able to focus on myself it's one of the reasons why I've been doing these videos about me and like what I do during the day and <clears throat> just my life in general for you guys to see like I don't always do witchcraft I'm not always like doing that um, I'm gonna go for more of a natural look today um, I'm gonna go for the sky. I don't know what it's called. Oh, orange. Oh, I think it's. I think it's German. Um, yeah, that one because I want to do natural today. Or uh, maybe tactless. I'm gonna do this guy and this guy. Um. So. Oh wow, they're pigmented. So I have been doing a lot of that. Um, just stay being in touch with myself and seeing how I. Not only how I react to certain things that people do, but also how I kind of detach myself from people when I'm afraid of um, like either being hurt or just afraid of dealing with myself in those situations. But it's also one thing that I realized like I need to detach myself from toxic people in my life as well. People that cause anxiety, people that suck away all of my energy, like psychic vampires, like it's a real thing. Like if I expend all of my energy on someone that really doesn't deserve it, then what's the point of doing that? Because at the end of the day, I'm the one that's, you know, down and out and can't do anything. Like, I can't really get out of bed because I'm so tired and all of that because of these people that I have in my life that really just aren't supposed to be there. Or maybe they're there to teach me a lesson that I need to focus more on myself and what I'm doing rather than trying to do things for people that really don't appreciate what I'm doing and then, you know, having nothing from it because it is really taxing dealing with people that just don't care or don't appreciate like what you're doing for them um it's one of those things where <laughs> i just i just can't do it anymore and i feel like i like honestly almost went through withdrawal or maybe i did um like letting go of someone in my life that i thought was like it just took a lot out of me trying to freaking just be there for someone that just couldn't, you know, appreciate it and, you know, complain a lot and like just, I just feel like it's, it makes me feel horrible sometimes because I'm just like, I, like I have to focus on myself. But what about, like, what if something happens to them? What if blah, blah, blah and like, you know, all of this stuff, but seeing, the fact that I matter and what I need also matter. I'm trying to balance this on stuff and it's not working. Um, the fact that I matter and I need to focus on what's 
bothering me as well and seeing how I'm reacting to things and why and um, really looking deeply within myself it's hard like seeing yourself on the inside and saying okay I'm gonna work on that um, oh I forgot that I need to do my powder um, I use this but I'm like looking for another one so if you guys know um, any other like good um, foundation powders let me know um, this is in the color uh, Soft Sable, um, but yeah, it's it's one of those things where I really need to work on how I react to people, what how much energy I give to other people as well, and stop caring, to be honest. Like, stop caring about what other people think about me. Um, also, stop caring about how, like, people will respond to me saying, hey, I need to focus on myself right now and stop worrying about things that don't really matter. Um, doing the things that I love and being around the people that really care about what, you know, I have to say and listen to me. And that's the thing, I am a good listener. One, like one of the things, one of the traits that I have is like, I always listen to my friends and like their problems and you know what's going on with them but I really have the opportunity to really do that for myself. I don't really have like that like oh I need to talk to someone about like my life and what's going on. I uh, never want to burden people with that and I have to like see that and say huh I wonder why that is. Why do I feel the need to keep my life from other people, but like I always allow people to use me as they're like open and like open up to me as much as possible. Like that's something in that. So I have to like really see that about myself and say, why am I doing that? Why am I allowing that to happen? And why, um, why do I feel that way? Um, I really hate <laughs> like looking deep within myself I don't want to have to do this, <laughs> you know? I, I really don't want to have to do anything that I don't want to do. <laughs> and it's hard because you can't really grow unless you look deep within yourself and say, what is this and why do I do it? So I've learned a lot about that and about myself and like why I do certain things and yeah, I've said, okay, I see that and I'm going to raise you, uh, I'm going to look into it and I'm going to try my hardest to stop doing that. Um, and yeah, um, shadow work is hard. Shadow work is taxing, but it's also rewarding when you finally stop those patterns and finally say, I'm not doing that anymore. And you finally block out all of those toxic energies that are keeping you from being able to grow and doing things that really matter. I felt a weight lifted off my shoulders the moment I blocked out a toxic person in my life. I felt relieved. It feels so good not having to deal with that, like wondering what's happening in their lives and if they're going to be okay, but like, you know, if they're not there for you, then like, what's the point of you constantly worrying and wondering and hoping and like answering the phone, just like shaking because you're worried. Like, no, don't do that to yourself. And it's not selfish focusing on yourself. It's important because if you focus on yourself, then you're able to really understand what other people are going through and you can be a better friend that way as well. Um, you won't like react negatively to things that they say or if someone bails on you like you won't have to worry about that or if like anything like that like depending on the person like if i really care about someone i really expect a lot from them um because i expect a lot for myself i'm going to go for our eyeliner now and this is kat von d um so i expect so much from people and that can be really taxing um not only on me but also on the person because when I expect some, something from someone, I expect them to do it perfectly. Um, I expect them to do it um, on time. Um, you know, you got to be punctual. Don't bail on me. Like, talk to me. Um, all of that stuff. And, I mean, <laughs> I get that that can be, you know, overwhelming for some people. I have been told I'm a bit of a like, intimidating person because I always expect so much from people. 
But my question is, for myself, why do I do that? Why do I expect so much from other people? Because I expect a lot from myself. Why do I expect a lot from myself? Where does that come from? Um, what does that stem from? All of that. So you, it's kind of like finding that timeline, finding that moment that these things started happening and really kind of, I guess, debunking them and trying to find a solution to stop doing those things. Now I'm moving on to mascara, the Rocket Volume Express from Maybelline. Um, so I, I'm noticing the, like, you know, these things I'm noticing in myself. Um, I notice in other people sometimes too. When I'm around people, like these things start to happen, these things change. Like they react to things that I do and I say and stuff. And um, yeah, it's just important for me to be able to see these things and say, okay, I'm going to change how I allow myself to care about this situation. And like not, I'm, it's not that I'm not caring, it's just I'm kind of like blocking that negativity that I have to certain situations, certain people, certain conversations and things like that as well. And I'm saying, I'm not gonna let it get to me. I'm not gonna let it defeat me or keep me from being confident in what I'm doing and what I care about and what I like and all of that stuff. Because there's so many things in my life that I am afraid of and just finding those fears and saying, I'm not doing that anymore. And I'm not perfect, so I don't do this all the time. I don't do this every day. I don't notice these things about myself every day. But during this quarantine, I've been alone pretty much. I've been finding these things in myself and I've been saying, I see you, I see that. Let's write it down. Let's figure out what's going on. And um, yeah, this is one of those moments I think in history where people are really starting to find these things, what they love, what they hate, what they need to work on for themselves, for their careers, with their families, all of it. Um, I've been having crazy vivid dreams during this um, full moon in Aquarius and it has been enlightening because I, it's kind of like my childhood and my family are coming back in my dreams. Um, people in my life right now that like have turned their backs, um, like that's been happening in my dreams where like their backs are literally toward me right now. And um, you know, I've just been like seeing this and it's kind of, um, it's eye-opening. Um, it's like me and my subconscious saying, this is what you need to work on. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna work on that. So being intuitive and noticing these things about myself as well, um, you know, following my intuition, making sure I'm aware of the things that are not only happening in my life, but also like what the spirit guides are trying to tell me. And, um, like symbols that I'm seeing and what they mean and all of that stuff. Being able to interpret the signs in the proper ways, um, it's a lot. And just letting go, letting things go and kind of just working with the universe rather than against it because <sighs> it's hard. Um, I'm working with the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal now. Um, yeah, I like this one. It's in brunette. So shadow work is just one of those things where you really need to focus on those moments in your life, those moments that you're having right now, and say, what is it about me that reacts negatively to certain things? What is it about this situation? What is it about this person? What reminds me of a moment in my life that was scary or tragic or that I feared for something, my life or someone else, like anything like that. And why does this affect me now? Oh, I totally messed up my eyebrow. It's okay. I kind of curse the universe sometimes, not curse it, but curse at it. And I'm just like, oh my God, why? Why do I have to deal with this all the time? I'm just so tired of learning my lessons and all of these things. But these lessons are important for your spiritual growth because without them, you will be just a dredge in society, not really like earning what you have, like that sort of thing. Like 
it's so much better when you've gone through the work and you can say for yourself, oh my God, I did it. Oh my God, I deserve everything that I have because I worked really hard for it. So I've been working hard as fuck. So I'm ready for those rewards. But you know, if I don't have them now, I understand that they're just gonna get better as I learn and as I, you know, work through all of my stuff with myself. This quarantine has been taxing, it's been challenging, it's been isolating, but I think I needed that, you know, because I mean, I was surrounded by people all of the time. I was surrounded by at work, at home, I had uh, like a bunch of roommates. Um, you know, at work, I had a bunch of coworkers, and I purposefully kept myself around people so that I could, you know, kind of hide behind them in a way. I could just say, okay, like I don't have to deal with my own stuff because, you know, I have other people around me dealing with stuff too. But now that I'm like isolated and I'm working from home and like working on my videos just by myself, like I've noticed like, I do these things and I have to change them and I have to work on myself and I can't just hide behind other people. I can't just say, oh, I'm just going to completely distract myself um, and not do what I should be doing with myself or for myself. Um, I am here and I have to do it. I'm here and I have to look at myself in the mirror. I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now um, and I'm saying you have to do the work. You can't hide behind anyone anymore. And that has been a huge thing. Um, now I'm using Fenty Beauty, and this is my favorite lip gloss um, in Fussy. Um, but yeah, it's been good for me. It's been challenging. But in the long run, I'm going to work on myself and get those freaking rewards. <laughs> Also, self-love has been a huge thing for me, um, really noticing the good things in myself and saying, you are worth everything because you, you are giving, you are loving, you are caring, and just saying these things for myself and saying, just because people aren't noticing it right now, just because things are a little rough right now, it doesn't mean it's always going to be that way. Just keep being yourself keep loving yourself and caring for yourself and just giving yourself the time that you need in order to do what you need to do in order to see these things about yourself and see these things about what you need to be doing i am so grateful to be able to work at my own pace and do the things that i need to do for myself in order to be in order to have like mental clarity and all of that stuff Previously, I was working so much that I was so stressed out all the time. I had severe anxiety and all that stuff and things have really been calming down in my life for me and I've been feeling so much better because I have been keeping myself from those negative influences, keeping myself from negative thoughts as much as I can. And, um, and if I do have those negative thoughts, really writing down what I'm experiencing and saying, what the hell is this coming from? And really finding those triggers and understanding them. So yeah, just letting go of all of that toxic energy, really just allowing myself to bring in all of the beautiful, beautiful sunshine that I'm surrounded by and just feeling good about myself and about what I'm doing and what I'm putting out into the world and into the universe. So yeah, just letting go and working on myself. So I am done with my makeup and i'm going to start working on some more videos but i hope this was a good conversation for you guys to really think about yourselves and like what you're doing and how you're reacting to certain things and maybe how you're going to work on them in the future let me know in the comments below if you want more videos like this where i just talk to you about the things that are going on in my life and how i'm working towards resolving issues that i have and yeah i will see you guys next time